um, my opponents first stated that um, the problems in our education system are due to a lack of good teachers and that tenure allows bad teachers to stay in the classroom. Um, we can't put all the blame for the problems in our schools on the teachers. There are lots of teachers out there who try their best every day to help students. However, there are many other problems in our public school systems. Um, one uh, major problems include um, overcrowding, underfunding, and lack of control over students' home lives. Many studies have shown that um, these are much larger factors in a student's um, learning than the teachers. Um, in the same time article that my opponents used, they say that abolishing tenure doesn't address problems of underfunding, overcrowding, or improving students' home environments. Uh, it also states that one in three California students attend an overcrowded school. And students in overcrowded schools pay less attention, achieve less, and experience more violence. So you can't just blame it on bad teachers. Um, my opponents have also stated that gaining tenure is too easy, that they don't have a good evaluation system, um, and you know that um, bad teachers get have to stay in schools because they get tenure. Um, but this isn't enough of a problem to say that um, stopping the entire tenure system is a solution. This can be fixed by very minor changes, um, such as having um, better pre-evaluations before granting tenure and a longer period of time that teachers um, have to work and show that they are a good teacher. Um, Gary Chelsea, in a um, 2012 paper on education, said that administrators should establish performance milestones to be reached and documented over a probationary period. Districts can develop tenure panels consisting of administrators and teachers charged with affirming a candidate's qualifications to receive tenure. The concept of a tenure panel recognizes that teaching is a collegial and collaborative profession. Um, my opponents also stated that having tenure makes it much too difficult to fire a bad teacher. Um, however, there are many uh, other things that even if tenure weren't in place, it's still very difficult to fire a teacher. You not only have laws protecting um, employees, but you also have teacher unions. Um, in the teacher's rights tenure and dismissal, um, law says that a due process clause of the 14th Amendment um, states that no state may deprive any person of life, liberty, or property without due process of law. This clause applies to public school districts and provides the minimum procedural requirements that each public school district must satisfy when dismissing a teacher who has um, attained tenure. However, this still applies if the teacher doesn't have tenure and actually applies to anyone with a job. Um, the while the procedure used for firing a tenured teacher can take a long time, it's to uh, protect teachers uh, in their jobs. Um, another problem in firing a teacher is also um, teachers' unions, who will uh, do whatever it takes to keep um, their employee from being fired. In a quote from um, George A. Klaus, union representatives who function much like criminal defense attorneys and defend their clients to the end regardless of their competence as teachers. So the union
conditions are just as big of a problem as the tenure system. Um, my opponent also stated that tenure wasn't meant for the K-12 system. Um, this isn't true, actually. Tenure first came about in smaller schools where uh, female teachers were um, held to very strict standards of behavior. They weren't allowed to be out uh, late at night. They weren't allowed to get married or to get pregnant or to wear pants. And if they did any of these things, they could be easily fired. And that's when teacher protection started. Um, however, it still applies today. Um, in an article from Should Teachers Get Tenure in 2012, it says, according to Edison, Edison State College teacher David McGrath, tenure ensures academic freedom to teach important concepts such as evolution and classic texts such as Humbleberry Finn, To Kill a Mockingbird, or Catch from the Ride all of which have been banned by some school districts as recently as 2010. And another um, teacher, um, Alan Singer, stated that he felt he was able to organize student clubs that testified at public hearings against budget cuts in education and in favor of condom availability in school. And his actions sometimes brought him into conflict with colleagues and admin administrators. And he says that what protected him was his tenure. So you can see that tenure is very important to many teachers who feel that um, they need it to do their job effectively. Um, and that it does hold um, true in K-12 schools.